God damn it! What's wrong, Master S? I lost a button off of my new armor. You have buttons on your armor? Of course I do. A gentleman always has on buttons. Yeah, but this is metal armor. I just thought that maybe we didn't need buttons. Well, that's why you're not the man in charge. You see, the man with the buttons always gets the job. Always. That's why I was head manager of McDonald's for 62 years. Listen, I just thought there was a problem with our plan. And what plan would that be? You know, the plan to steal the nuclear reactor bomb from Evil Professor. Oh yes, the nuclear reactor bomb. The scourge of my existence. Remind me again exactly why we have to steal the bomb from him? Because we're going to use this nuclear reactor bomb to blow up the world. But isn't that what he's using it for? Why, yes it is. So why don't we just let him blow up the world? Because I want to be the one that blows up the world. I've been spending most of my life trying to attain my dream of blowing up the world. And if it blows up, and it's not because of me, imagine how I'm going to feel in those two seconds before I burn to death. Hot? Yes, very hot. And angry. Angry that it wasn't me that made me hot. Anyway, I was just wondering on when you plan on carrying out this plan. I plan on carrying it out as soon as I figure out where Evil Professor is hiding. But I thought we already knew where he was. Yes, we knew the general location, but we don't know specifics. Is he in the bathroom? Is he in the kitchen? Perhaps the dining area is where he's hiding his nuclear reactor bomb. So why don't we just break in there, kill him, and then we can look through all the rooms in our leisure. Listen here, I'm the supervillain, and so I get to make all the decisions about what room we look in and who we kill with what. Since when are you a supervillain? Since I just said that I was a supervillain. Yeah, but I could say I'm a cheese sandwich, but that doesn't make me a cheese sandwich. Listen, the type of material that's inside your sandwichy body is none of my concern. No, you missed the point. The point is that you're not a supervillain. God damn it, Cheesy! If I'm not a supervillain, then why do I say that I am? You probably do it to boost your ego about the fact that you've never actually supervillained anything. That and your mother. What? Exactly. I've confused you with my supervillain tactics. You see, you have to be good at confusing people when you're a supervillain. If not, then they'll easily overpower you. Sometimes with household objects, like spoons and pins that shoot rockets. I'm not entirely sure that pins that shoot rockets are household objects. Of course they are. I've seen them at CVS for three ninety nine. I'm not entirely sure you've ever been inside of a CVS. Oh yeah? Well, I'm not entirely sure that- God damn it, Cheesy! Shut the hell up! My name is not Cheesy. My name is Spider. Of course it is. And I guess your other twelve legs just fell off, did they? Spiders only have eight legs. Exactly. And you wouldn't know that if you were a spider. I'm not an actual spider. My name is Spider. I don't have time to argue about your ridiculous names. I must get back to work. We attack tomorrow at dawn. They'll never see it coming. Actually, since you're attacking in the daylight, they will see it coming. Listen here. Who here has won regional service manager at McDonald's for 13 years in a row? I'm fairly certain you're going to say you. Exactly. I am going to say me. Regardless of that goddamn Donald, you would tell the boss that it was I that slouched on the job, even though I was the one that put you on hamburger duty. Do you know what that cost me, Donald? I got fired over that piece of dust, and what did you do? You slept with Becky and Sanders. I hope you're happy with yourself, Donald. I hope you're goddamn happy with yourself. You piece of shit. Uh, right. So I'm a, I'm a go now. I think that's probably best. So, Dawn. Make it 933. I like my numbers even, like I like my women. How can a woman be even? Or for that matter, how can a woman be odd? I don't know. Ask your mother about her sexual practices and perhaps she'll find out. Hey, I think that's kind of stepping over the line. God damn it, Arachna Mozzarella! Sir, you'll never guess who's just arrived. Oh, I love the guessing game. Was it Elvis? Well, no, uh, it's actually... Was it Madonna? No, it, it wasn't Madonna. Richard Petty? No, it wasn't Richard Petty, it was... No, no, I'm really good at this. Let me get it. Was it that kid that plays Harry Potter in all of the movies? No, it's henchman number one, back from vacation. Thank you for running the game, henchman number two. I was about to guess him. Uh, I guess I'm sorry then, sir. To be completely honest with you, I'd completely forgot there was a henchman number one. 
Ever since we got Henchman number Roboto, everything has ran so smoothly around here. It was like it was all covered in baby oil wrapped in butter and bacon. Thank you, sir. You're welcome, Henchman number Roboto. Right. Um, do you want Henchman number one to come in now? Sure. Send Henchman number one in. I need to have a talk with him anyway. Yes, sir. Ah, there you are, henchman number one. How was Aruba and the Bahamas? They were fabulous! That is so nice to hear. I'm glad you got to visit them before I blow up the world. Believe you me, it was so hot down there, it felt like you already had. Henchman number one, I would like you to meet our newest member. This is henchman number Roboto. He is made of metal like the Duracell bunny. Sir, I believe it's an energizer bunny. Why do you always have to make me look stupid in front of company, henchman number two? We don't have any company. It's just henchman number one. You're always so technical, henchman number two. That is why I hate you. I hate you so much, henchman number two. I want you to die. So, henchman number one, how did your wife enjoy the Bahamas? My who? Your wife. You know the woman you are married to? You said this was a family vacation. Oh, right. My wife. Um, she loved it. She was, like, totally impressed by all the, um, she shells and stuff. That sounds so nice. It sounds like she had a wonderful time. So wait, you have a wife? Why, of course I do. Why wouldn't I have a wife? It's just that you seem like you might be, um, not married to a woman. What are you trying to imply, henchman number Roboto? Well, nothing. It's just that, what's your wife's name? My wife's name is Sharon, thank you very much. I thought last year you told us her name was Ethel. Um, yeah, it was last year, and then... I... she died. What? Uh, I mean, she changed her name because she likes Sharon better. I do not know why everyone is so curious in Henchman Number One's love life anyway. What him and his wife do together in Aruba is their own business. It's not that I'm wanting to pry, I just get the feeling that Henchman Number One might be, well... Gay? Henchman Number Two, watch your mouth! We do not say words like that around here! What? Words like gay? Exactly! That is a dirty word! We do not use dirty words around here! It's not a dirty word, it's just the truth. He's gay. Why in the world would you think I'm gay? Well, let's be honest here. You're not exactly the shining star of heterosexuality. And what is that supposed to mean? I think he's implying that your body might naturally produce more estrogen than most males, thus causing you to act more feminine. I would be inclined to agree. Listen up, everybody. There is no gay people in this company. And even if they were, we would treat them perfectly normal. We would not talk anything about them because they are just as normal as me and myself. I mean, you and I! Uh, sir? Shut up! I was just slipping my tongue! Yeah, plus, anyway, me and my wife are very happy together. Me and Billy spent almost the entire week in bed together. I thought you said your wife's name was Sharon? Well, yeah, her name is Sharon. But you just said you and Billy spent the whole week in bed together. Oh, well, that's because that is her name. Billy Sharon, you know, with a hyphen. Billy Sharon? Yeah, lots of people are doing it nowadays. Billy Bob, Sarah Lee, Butterworth. Do you mean the syrup? Okay, this discussion is over. There are more important things to be doing than to be worrying about who is gay, which I am not. Sir, is there something you want to tell us? Yes, there is something I want to tell you, henchman number two. Shut up! Shut up and stop making me look like a fool in front of all my friends! Technically, we're not friends. We're henchmen. Be that as it may, we have work to be doing now. What do we need to do? I need someone to help me come pull out the plug in the hole to the center of the Earth. You know, so we can drop the nuclear reactor bomb in it. I would love to help. I know a lot about plugs and holes. Yeah, I bet you do. You think that was funny? That was not funny, henchman number two! You are not funny! Even though you think you are, you are not, because nobody laughs at your jokes! It wasn't a joke. Yeah, well so is your face, henchman number two. Burn. That's right, I burned you. You feel the heat from the oven? The oven of my mouth is my words? You are like a cooked turkey now. You are so burned. Like one of those little black potato chips you get in the bags that nobody wants to eat. Sorry, sir. That's right, you are. Come, henchman number one. We have a hole to unplug. Ah, here we go. We're here. Are you absolutely sure he's in here? I would bet my 23,000 girlfriends on it. Wow, Mandelbaum. That's a lot of girlfriends. And that's not even counting the Asian ones. There's just one problem, Mandelbaum. And what's that, Skippy? How are we gonna get past this giant gate? Don't you worry about that. I have a wonderful plan. Really, Mandelbaum? Of course, Skippy. 
Just give me one minute to think of it. Ow, my head hurts. Not only from the impact of the fist, but also from the betrayal. I'm coming for you, Dr. Evil Professor. You and your little henchman, too. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. Ow. I think I chipped a circuit. 